Hey everybody, it's Bobby D. I'm here once again with the Tyler Variax and the HD500. And behind me is the DT50 amp. Uh, this is the third demo I've done for this system. And today, on this demo, I want to focus on some very clean sounds. I've got the HD500 set up to a really clean blackface twin kind of sound with just a touch of reverb and I'm gonna go through some of the models on the Variax so you can really hear what they sound like and I'm gonna take them in order how they are on the knob so let's start out with the Telecaster to Tele bridge pickup bit of that reverb <clears throat> yeah just pull a little bit of that out of the mix it's just that easy we get the telly in the middle position and the telly neck pickup that middle telly position. This makes me think of the meters. And remember, with the alternate tuning thing you got going on here, I can drop this guitar into open G and rock out some stones just like this. tunings on this and hey what about if we do a little drop D action with the bridge pickup so much fun let's go to the strap model now which is called spank we're on the spank model Here's my favorite one the Mark Knopfler setting Middle pick up. And the neck pick up. Let's move on over to the Lester model. This is your Les Paul type model with a pair of humbuckers. And here's the back humbucker. So you can tell it's louder. It's got more output, just like a just like a real Les Paul would. And I hope you notice that there is uh, no fizz going on on my clean sounds. I know that was an issue for a lot of people. Um, that's been rectified in the most recent firmware. I'm playing a humbucker into a clean Fender Blackface Twin model right now with no fizz at all. Let's go to the middle pickup. 
big upsetting. And of course, the neck pickup for the fatness. go to the special knob the special is a combination of guitars you've got like a p90 les paul special and there's also a firebird in there let's give these a listen here's the back pickup p90 sound <laughs> difference between the humbucker. Let me switch between them for you. One of the Firebird models. Here's the uh, two P90s in the middle position. Another one of the Firebird models with a neck pickup. Then here's your neck P90. Let's go to the rockabilly settings. Rockabilly usually implies Gretsch guitars, and that's right on the money. This is more of the Gretsch sounding pickups. Kind of cool with the Gretsch models. You can hear that that Gretsch bridge, uh, the Melita bridge. Um, it's, it has a weird body resonance that other guitars don't have, and they nailed it in the model. You can hear it. Let's go on over to Chime which is the Rickenbacker set of guitars. The first setting is a Rickenbacker with the back pickup going. sound going. The next position is the Rickenbacker 12 string on the back pickup, which I like a lot.
middle position is going to be the two regular six string Rickenbacker guitar uh, pickups together in series. <laughs> Next position up is a 12 string Rickenbacker in the neck position. You can hear the difference. Here's the bridge position. Here's the neck position. And here's your neck position, six string Rickenbacker. Now I'm going to go over to the semi. Semi is basically your 335 style guitars, um, your jazzers, if you will, the semi hollow body electrics. Uh, the back one is a humbucker in the rear position of a 335 style guitar. <laughs> Here's the two 335 pickups together. And here's the neck pickup. It's nice they got some of that body resonance in there. move on over to jazz box got some interesting models in the jazz box like a super 400 body resonance and the bridge on these, they're very unusual. I'm not a jazzer, so... Let's take it to the acoustic guitars. That's something I know how to play. Let's see what these acoustics sound like. Love it. Ah, yes. The acoustic 12 string. And with the acoustic 12 string and taking your tuning down to drop D, you can do and you know it's coming. Ah. Now learn how to 
Yeah, play it first. string comes in handy on stage. Another 12 string. with some fun stuff. This is the rezzo area, which kind of gives you some of the resonator guitars, the banjos, and the ever fun to play with sitar. I'm gonna go to open G, take the tuning to open G for this one. Very handy for uh, if you like that Chris Whitley kind of thing and want to get some of his vibe, you can get a really decent resonator sound out of this guitar. <laughs> All right. <laughs> My favorite, the sitar. <laughs> I like the sitar one a lot. I turn that one on at my gigs and mess around with my band sometimes. Here's another another resonator guitar. And of course the banjo. You gotta have the banjo so you can do this. Let me put it back in open G. Here we go. of mine do some studio sessions with this guitar just so he could use the banjo part of it and he was able to build a production company some extra money to hire a banjo player right here's the banjo player bam <laughs> this is Bobby D I hope you've enjoyed this I know this is kind of a, a boring demonstration of this guitar and I'm not really showing off much of my guitar playing but what I really wanted to show off was the variety of sounds that the new Variax electronics are capable of making. I used a completely clean sound with the Pod HD into the DT50 amp, 
I'm going to be doing a lot more demos. If you have any requests, just message me or leave a comment on my YouTube channel. Thank you for subscribing and always have fun.